Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I am currently located somewhere on the Colorado Backcountry Discovery Route, and I thought now would be a good time to do an introduction of why you should consider putting folding mirrors on your bike, especially if you do the off-road riding, the adventure type riding, and there's the possibility of dropping your bike. Now it took me a long time to figure out the value of these, which I'll go through in a little bit, but really, primarily, the way these look is dang cool. And who doesn't want to put these on their bike to look like a real adventurer? So that's what I did, is I put these on. But all joking aside, there is some very important value to adding these. So I'm gonna go through why you would want to add these to your bike, and then also just a quick installation on this bike so you can see how it's done. Um, if you're one of those people that are a little bit nervous about working on your own bike, it's pretty simple, uh, straightforward installation. And the investment of about $130 on folding mirrors is worth it over what it could end up costing you by breaking not just the mirror but some other things that I'll go through. So I'm going to let myself from a month ago finish talking about the installation and the importance of installing folding mirrors. So stick around. The importance of putting folding mirrors on your motorcycle if you do any off-road riding. And the primary reason for that is if you drop your bike or when you drop your bike if these mirrors come down in an awkward position, an awkward angle, you risk breaking the clutch perch over here or the master cylinder perch. And if that happens, then you're gonna have to replace this. And the cost of these is gonna be a fraction of the cost of replacing a master cylinder and or a clutch perch. Important thing is, no matter what mirror you use, if you're gonna do any off-road riding, you really should consider getting a fold-away mirror. Uh, from a falling down and breaking, if you go over the bars, it'll fold out of the way and you don't get jammed up on this. And then just hitting things. I'm going to use the universal wrench on this. Just because it's easier. And that's actually loose. So take that out. And I think this should be a standard right hand thread. That one's off. Now let's switch to the other side. I think this side, if I'm correct, is a left-handed thread. Yeah, and the locking nut says left on it. Let's start off by loosening that. And the reason that's left-handed thread, so if you do go down and your mirror gets hit, it'll fold away. And then you don't have as much of a chance of breaking it, hopefully. Oh, and my perch is loose. That's not good, so I need to fix that too. All right, you're gonna get two adapters. The adapter for the right is gonna be the left-hand thread to go into the brake cylinder, and then that converts it over to a right-hand thread so the ball mount, the ram ball mount, can thread in properly. So in order to have the mirrors at the same height, they give you an extension to go on the left side just so they're at the same position, you have symmetry and you're looking in the same place. So these just, oh, I remember to do it the right direction. That goes there. And then this one goes here. And then I'll loosen that. Actually, I'll just take the ball out for now. Take this ball out. And then this just threads on here. Take the other ball out of this. Now what I'm gonna do to try to give it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing look is I think I'm gonna take the the mirror's rubber condom thing here. I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna cut it to cover up to the ball so you don't have the silver studs sitting out. So I'll take this off and then we'll get it measured up and see how it looks. All right, we got the uh, rubber mirror condom thing off, and I'm going to make it just a little bit longer than it needs to be because it can fit over that picture right here. And I don't ever expect to use these again, so I don't feel too bad about cutting it. Some of you out there may not want to do that. It's up to you. I want it to look a little nicer and not just have the studs sitting there. 
I'll set that on there. And get the ram out to thread in. All right, I like that. I like that look better than this bare stud. So I'll do that on the other side real quick. And then uh, we'll tighten these up and then put the mirrors on. Okay, so I think that, that looks better that way, and now we'll, uh, we'll get the mirrors on. All right, just slide that on there, tighten it up. I'll have to sit on the bike to figure out exactly where I want it, but we'll just start with it there. Uh, I might move it out some. Somewhere right there. Tighten it. All right, now I just need to look at it from sit on the bike and see where they're pointed and then get them adjusted. Yeah, once I get on the road, then I'll have a better idea of where they're at, but seems okay. And uh, these are really popular mirrors, so no broken purchase. Uh, just a quick note I forgot to mention is, um, at least with these particular mirrors that I installed, you might be wondering uh, what the visibility is out of them um, and how they pick up vibration off the bike. So because this is a single cylinder, it does have some vibration in it. Um, with these mirrors, it seems like to be a little bit more than the stock mirrors, but I could still see fine behind me. It wasn't a big deal. And I've got these mirrors pretty low. You'll see some people that mount the mirrors to where they're up really high, but if I do that, it hits my shoulder and I can't see. So my mirrors are more to the side, um, and I just slip my hand in here, not a big deal. Um, but visibility, fine. Vibration, a little bit, especially at uh, highway speeds. Low speeds, 55, it's fine. 65, 70, you start seeing the vibration. Um, not a big deal for me. So just in case you're wondering uh, what it looks like, but that's remember this on a single cylinder, on bigger, smoother bikes, twin cylinders, you're not gonna have that problem. Mirrors installed, now you can see the value of doing this. It's not just for the look, it does have a practicality to it. And I should have done this a long time ago on my other bike. I didn't really think about it a lot. I don't know why it didn't register with me how investing that little bit of money in the folding mirrors could have potentially saved me hundreds of dollars down the road. Thankfully, nothing ever happened, but the potential is too high for the off-road riding not to have these installed. I hope you found this useful and if this is something that you want to do or have any questions leave those in the comments below and get out do some riding while the weather is still good before winter starts setting in and thanks for watching and I will see you out there. Cheeky.